Hi everyone, welcome to episode two of What Winners Do. Here with our CEO, Jamie Mulligan, and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the short game. All the best players in the world have elite short games, and here at Virginia Country Club, there's not a better place in California to work on it, whether it's here on the walk or up here on the hill. We also have the lab. Um, it's a great place to get your short games dialed in and it's gonna lower your scores and Jamie's gonna tell you about the best players in the world and their short games. Thanks Brett, I appreciate it very much. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot and I get asked this question a lot whether we're on the PGA or the LPGA Tour. What's separating the top 10 players in the world from the rest of the players and then what separates a really good tour player or an elite amateur from the rest of the players as well too. And it's definitely a short game. I can tell you from playing practice rounds on a Tuesday or Wednesday with uh, whatever players and seeing them play with other top 10 players in the world, they pitch the ball and they putt the ball and they bunker the ball uh, better than the rest of the players do and they're working it all the time. People always say, hey, how much time do I need to spend on my golf? Well, normally what we'll see people do is they'll just go hit balls and they might hit balls for an hour. Uh, zero putts, zero chips. And I can tell you the, the pros do an amazing job of quantifying that where it's probably more short game than it is long game. And as you get more and more into the tournament, you're just warming up your muscles to swing, but you're really working on your scoring skills, which is done with this. And then done in this area. You had a really nice run as a player and it was fun to coach you through that from the time that you were really young. And uh, I've had a pretty charming golf life and a pretty nice career when I think about it. But my personal golf would have been a lot better and even my coaching golf would have been a lot better if I would have emphasized three decades ago more short game, which is a huge emphasis for us now. Do you want to speak to that? Yeah, it's th this is such a good place to do it. And I, I feel like every time I come out here, you see the best players at the club out here more, more than the average member. And I think everyone should use, utilize this area, but the, the players that are playing the best know the importance of the short game and, and utilize these facilities the most. And just playing this thing twice by yourself in 30 minutes, I don't think there's a better way to work on your wedge game and, and short game and it'll pay off and you'll be shooting lower scores because of it. Yeah, I think so as well too. And I was gonna say that this would be another kind of quotient question is, uh, would you rather hit a bucket of balls or would you rather go around this twice? It would take the same amount of time in order to do that. And I think with the way that the whole structure is, you hit different chip shots, you got to stay in your rhythm. It'd be great to take two wedges and you could hit a couple balls there with each wedge in order to feel like different lengths of swing, flighted or high shots. And then obviously around the greens there, if you happen to miss one, you got to pitch one and you got to chip one. And then I love the idea with your primary ball of trying to make a score on the hole. Also too, whether you have a young player that's never played before, this is where you would start them. Or if you're coming off an injury, this is probably what we'd suggest to go back to. Or if you're in great shape and great health and you're playing, this is how you shoot lower scores right here at the walk. Yep, I agree with all that. More time out here and working on your short game will, will lower your scores definitely. Brett, I enjoy doing these segments with you and we love at our golf club watching people get better at this game that we're both in love with. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the week. Thank you.